Hello everyone. This company, Holby, sent me this add-on backup camera that you can use for your car, RV, boat, anything. House. I mean, you could basically use this for anything you need a camera for. Supposedly it says the wireless range is 100 meters, which is quite long. Now, the camera can operate wirelessly or with a cable, which is a nice addition. So as you change the input on this, it goes from wireless to, uh, to the cable. Say 800 by 480 resolution 7 inch screen, which is kind of nice considering this is all 70 bucks. And if you don't have a backup camera or you need it for something, I think this is a fair price addition. Say you have a huge trailer and you just want to be able to see what's going on behind you. 70 bucks is not a lot of money to spend. It has a remote that can switch between the inputs, adjust color and brightness. The camera itself has night vision LEDs. It's okay quality. It's like I said, it's 70 bucks. It's more than good enough. Especially uh, one thing I would say is just adjust the contrast and brightness and color temperature because the way it's set up when you first get it, it's, it's pretty terrible and just changing those a little bit improves it a great deal. Now, the camera is a pretty good build. It's metal, it's tough, has this mounting bracket that you can put it upside down or straight. Also the screen obviously has settings to which you flip it or set it up however way you want. The screen is also quite nice, has a little mount, it's nothing fancy, but it has its wireless connector. So if you weren't using this, you could actually remove the antennas. But it's a decent screen for the price and it looks quite good. It, you're not trying to watch an HD movie on this. You're seeing the backup camera and there's really absolutely no need for it to be better quality than it is. Also, in fact, I'd probably rather have it use less battery power than be better quality. So overall, I have this connected to a battery here. I've been testing it for a couple days. It has one additional wire that you're supposed to connect as blue where when you actually go into reverse, the screen switches on because technically you're not supposed to have a screen always showing what's behind you. So you're supposed to connect that if you're, if you're gonna use it with a car or vehicle. So let me take a look here. Currently I have it connected wirelessly. They said it didn't seem really too much of a difference. I kind of kept playing between the two settings and it really, they were the same. Wireless wasn't any worse or better than the cable connect, so it made no difference. I'm just gonna switch the input here to wireless. And as you can see, I don't know if you can see that that well. Garage is kind of a mess, but overall the image is very clear. Remember, you are using this for a backup cam, so you're not trying to see 100 feet away, you're just trying to, kind of has like a wide angle view. It's Easy to see what's going on. Let me see actually if I can turn off the lights if the night vision will turn on. Not yet. Looks like one more light. Right, not knock over everything here. Alright, as you can see it it really is quite clear. There it goes. Yeah, it's there. Right. Complete darkness without the IR. And so it's really, I'd say this is good. I don't know if I can find a button in the dark. All right, there we go. So, yeah, as I said, I've uh, never really used one of these devices before, before the price, especially considering the screen itself. It's a very pleasant screen. And because it has the standard audio, visual, uh, audio, video hookups, you technically can hook up any display you want to this. So anything that outputs to one of these yellow cables will display on the screen. And like I said, it's 800 by 480 resolution, which is not that bad. You could probably use it with an Arduino or Raspberry Pi, anything like that. So yeah, check it out. I, I really think the build of the camera is quite good in a sense that it's tough, it, the, the front is glass, it's not plastic. It means that you can easily wipe it and clean it. it. Has a whole lot of IR LEDs in there. And overall, I'm just I'm impressed. Uh, I mean, you really, like I said, it's, it's $70 for something like this. It's, you know, like it, not long ago, a screen like this would have cost, say if you went and try to buy a screen for your Raspberry Pi, it might be a little better, but it'd probably be about the same price. So the amount of stuff you're getting here, all the hookups, the fact it can work wirelessly and over the cable, 
It just simply works on 12 or 24 volt. Has all the cables, wires, everything you need. Stand for the screen. So I'm sticky to connect this to wherever you want. That's pretty awesome. If you have an RV, I don't know, boat or something like that, you could use this to watch a show. For, if you use the input from something else, you could get audio inputs for security. You, you can use the screen for almost anything. So that's kind of a bonus. It's almost like a Tinker toolkit that is also a backup camera that you can use for your car or anything else. Check it out.